Hey guys, this is Junior Crater, and in this video, we will be taking a look at one of the king of the mountain that is the Nvidia stock. And tomorrow, we are heading into the earnings with it. So, this is gonna be a huge, as I said, the market mover in either direction. And let's take a look at what today's price action is telling us about Nvidia. There is something called dark cloud forming on NVIDIA and I'll take you more in-depth detail of what that is and how to read it, what is the premises behind it and all of that good stuff. And I will also be covering AMD, Broadcom, Intel, Semi, TSM, SMCI and also tech stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Meta, Netflix. And in EVs, I did that in my video prior to this one so check that out on my channel and I'll also cover in this video about the QQ and SPY indices. With that guys please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful and also please remember none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. You will have all the tools and the knowledge that you need to go out in the market and make your own voice decisions after seeing this video full all right. So stick with me till the very end of this video. Now Let's take a look at QQQ first, and we will also take a look at SPY. All right, QQQ, what it's been doing? Well, to simply put it, let's jump into some of the news as well that came out. So here's the thing. Well, we all know uh, there are two big things happening this week, NVIDIA's earning, and then also uh, Powell is heading for Jackson Hole to talk about you know, his Fed speech. Um, and However, the market, what the things have been coming out in the market, for example, the S&P global ratings came down on a group of banks that are witnessing higher funds, funding costs, I mean, deposits, outflows. Late Monday, the rating agency lowered its ratings for Key Corp, Comerica, and other banks. Also, earlier in August, Moody's downgraded several banks as well. So, all in all, we have been hit in the ratings, you know, day after day, it just seems like everything was planned for the market to go up and then we were hit with these, you know, the the, the, the rating downgrades. But anyways, um, the thing is that, and I have covered this in my previous video as well, um, when the stocks are going up, the sentiment in the market is that, oh, any news is the good news, doesn't matter, right? Because price action comes first and no matter what the news is, people like to then show you the good news. When the stock price is falling, people like to show you the bad news and then also the bad news surfaces more and then suddenly everything becomes like oh because of this because of that but guys price action is the primary leader into anything and the news follows there are macros though like cash flow uh, what the interest rates are like how the economy is doing which media doesn't really talk about that transparently they tend to you know sugarcoat a lot of the things and that's why you never catch on the reality of the economy right and but the price action tells us everything all right without going into much of the rabbit hole there let's talk about qqq now the price action so technically what are we seeing we were seeing this downfall we were calling out this hey it's forming lower highs lower lows and so we should be expecting continuation to the downside we are getting some bounce at one of our important levels which is fine i mean it doesn't make qqq bullish and why so like People can ask me, hey, junior trader, why is it not bullish when we are seeing two green candles? We are still going up. How can you say we are not bullish? Well, because we are below 20 and 50 days moving average. We are forming lower highs, lower lows continuously. This is just a bounce in the downtrend. At least that's what the price station is telling me right now. When we are going up, you see these pullbacks, right? And then we continue our way up. So, what happens? It's the same thing, but it's just the downtrend. We see the bounce and then we head down, right? That's that's how the downtrend works. So this is the cycle of market. Now we are today as well, we gapped up, but then we started selling off, not quite making all the way to 20 and 50 days moving average, but just before that we started to sell off. I want to take you to the hourly interval here, guys, and show you literally what happened. It rejected at you know 200 hours moving average. So it is going down from here. I, I traded some on QQQ, well, SQQQ, the inverse play around 200 hours moving average, still holding it. I mean, you know, um, I might sell it off if it breaks even, or again, um, if it keeps falling, I'm just gonna keep holding it. Now, 
what what do we have well as i said we are in the downtrend nothing changes and i was talking about that when we extend so much away from 200 hours moving average the bounce is expected now qqq it may turn itself around if it wants to if it gets above 200 hours moving average but the reason i'm not expecting much out of this even getting above 200 hours moving average is because the 20 and 50 days moving average are just right above it so Unless and until at this point, QQQ is not going above $371, there is no sign of it becoming bullishness. I would still consider this as uh, potentially a double top if QQQ even goes all the way up here. The thing is that NVIDIA's earning tomorrow can really make a massive move for everything either to the upside or to the downside. That may distort some chart patterns a little bit, but my hunch is that eventually we are still going to go down at least on QQQ and the broader market. NVIDIA, guys, I have to see tomorrow what, what happens. So, And we'll talk more about NVIDIA when I get to it, just right after SPY. So SPY, S&P 500, same story, guys, gapped up, coming down. Now, what do we see? Well, it's in the downtrend. We go to the hourly interval, and we can see it didn't even quite catch up to 200 hours moving average. It rejected way below that, and it's looking very weak. Like look at it look at the sell, sell off right yeah to me it's showing no sign of bullishness right even we have green candles doesn't matter we're in the downtrend forming lower highs lower lows and we are still going red so on spy if this level of 431 breaks guys this is going to be detrimental we're going to come down to all the way to 418 dollars then and also test this 200 days moving average just be cautious okay let's take a look at nvidia guys the king of the mountain let's talk about it now we see two very distinct candles here right these are like big candy bars green and red what is let's let's read some you know i i talked about dark cloud right let's a little bit talk about what is this thing like what does it means right what in the history of stock chart analysis the trading analysis whatever it is what when a trader sees these two candles, what type of meaning they bring out of it? Well, if we just look at the buying and selling, we can say, oh, there was a huge buying. And today we are saying, oh my God, this is such a huge sell-off, right? So technically that's what the candle is telling that so sellers are trying to just push it down. They're just huge sellers present as well. Look at the volume. The thing is that guys, we saw this sell-off. We saw this, you know, green, you know we had this huge rally up green huge rally up green but do you know notice the difference we are selling off at a higher volume even over here lately we have been going up or seeing green bars on a lower volume right but we have been going down on high red volume so something to know that means there are high sellers more sellers present at these levels than the buyers and just put it simply that again um, market makers they again i'm not saying they're manipulating but what i mean to say that is sometimes when there are not enough uh, liquidity or not enough traders present at these levels it's easier for the stock price to move higher or lower at a lower volume but if we see sell-offs at higher volumes, that means more there are more participants and there is more pressure onto the magnitude of that sell-off and importance or significance, I should say, of the sell-off. All right, I want to talk to you about this dark cloud cover. So picture these two candles in your mind right now. One is green and the other one is red, all right? Let me take you, show you something. Dark cloud cover pattern. Two candle pattern, all right? This is a two candle pattern. What does it signify? It signifies trend reversal pattern. Effective if found during uptrend. Do you see similarities in first three points? Two candle pattern, trend reversal pattern, and effective if found in the uptrend. Well, yeah, we are in the uptrend, almost all the way to the top of this chart, right? What are the next thing? First candle green, second candle red bearish. Both candles should be big. They are super big compared to all other candles, right? All right. Red candle opens above green candle. What did we do? We, yeah, we opened above green candle. Then red candle closes slightly above the bottom of the green candle. Yes, that's what we did. Guys, this thing just checked off 
everything that is on this list of dark cloud cover pattern and it's a trend reversal pattern just keep that in mind not saying that there's a guarantee now that nvidia is going now straight down but this does not leave us clueless what may potentially happen as well again guys earnings can really change everything and that's why like technicals can just fall out of the books completely during earnings so that's the thing but something i wanted to really you know give you an idea just so you know even for your knowledge you know what you are looking at here now what do we see in the technicals with nvidia so technically though technically speaking bulls it's still bullish guys i mean because it's about 20 and 50 days moving average we do have a reversal pattern um but we if we see a continuation to the downside below 20 and 50 days moving average that confirms it as well that's what i'm trying to say there is nothing much more to say right now on nvidia than just to wait for earnings because tomorrow either this thing is going to fall or go up or stay choppy well i said all the three possible things that may potentially happen but guys yeah it is in the yeah wait for the earnings that's all i can say we are seeing some very very significant trend reversal patterns but analysts have been just in so many analysts have put their name on the line as well like 600 800 dollars price targets coming out on this thing so i want to see the earnings tomorrow and that's what simply i can say if let's actually let's talk about it on the daily level if earnings just does not come let's but i think they will beat the earnings though but market can still sell off the thing is that if you break below 404 dollars guys uh, this thing is definitely making its way down to 377 and in the ranges of 300 but if it breaks all time high guys this thing will stay above it for for a while and if it can stay above as well by the end of this week above 480 dollars then yeah it's gonna stay above uh, yeah so guys just wait for the earnings and then we will see that's all i can say right now on nvidia but it is looking like a dark cloud pattern on nvidia so just just bear that in mind all right broadcom um guys <clears throat> broadcom technically it is rejecting this 20 and 50 days moving average it is it's in the downtrend it's just that how long will it take to keep falling right but it's in the downtrend again all semiconductors rely on nvidia's earning tomorrow everything can have a relief rally or whatever whatnot but uh just keep that in mind broadcom if it keeps falling the next level is 838 dollars the only way it can become bullish again if we see a green candle close above at least the level of 878 dollars amd um with amd guys if you can just avoid trading the stock that's the best thing i can suggest again like don't trade it on the swing side if you really like playing it it's a choppy play so you can play level to level it's that's what how it has been working out you it's in the downtrend it's below this 20 and 50 days moving average right over here and we do have this supporting trend line so the my thesis on this is guys a straight level to level if it reaches one level you see certain sell-off you trade it down to the next level if you see it get above certain level and see some positivity on it like it's over VWAP or things like that during the day trading, you can play the long on it. It's, it's a choppy stock. Taking a look at hourly interval, it has been constantly rejecting this 200 hour moving average as an overhead resistance. So not necessarily it makes any di difference, right? So uh, it's, yeah, it's still a downside play. And I talked about this level, guys, that it may very well reject $109 when it even started going up here. I said that it's going to reject $109. So guys, this is the, you, you got to keep these levels, you know, um, with you to, to trade it this way. All right. Let's take a look at now, guys, I'm going to skip Intel. Don't buy, don't trade it. If you're a long-term investor on it, your best possible way is to average cost into it. But I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the way the company is there right now. I, they don't have much media presence we really don't get to know much about what they are doing tsm guys the play was from 20 days moving average down to 200 days moving average when it broke that that play is complete um you know it just worked out how we predicted 
again it's just rejecting 20 days moving average if it breaks 200 days moving average now because looks like who knows it may right it may it want to or it should it may we have first level then to the downside uh, to the level of uh, somewhere around here $87 and then uh, if that level breaks the next level to watch is the level just around and guys it things will never be penny to penny perfect so just work with the levels right the 82 dollars and 70 cents eventually so technically it's in the downtrend as well guys tsm smci the, oh, this is an outlier this is the only stock semiconductor in on my list that is positive today so i have been waiting for it to short it but i'm just not getting that bounce that i have been looking for i all right if it gets well, <laughs> all right okay i'm waiting for it to test this 20 days moving average underneath or 50 days moving average i would love to short it it's it makes massive moves um but again i really want to wait nvidia's earning how they're going to happen and then start short if things works out i'm going to start shorting the heck out of semiconductors again guys i mean i have nothing against these companies they're great companies it's just that when the stock chart presents the opportunity i want to make the move and make money right um yeah that's why i'm trading right i'm not trading for any other reason but to make money why someone would do stock market if they don't want to make money right so all right this is uh, semiconductors, guys, uh, and EVs. As I said, I did a video on this just prior to this video. Check that out on my channel. Let's start talking about Apple now. So Apple, sure, it is showing some green. It's showing some bounce after getting close to this one of the support level, one hundred seventy-one dollars. So definitely buyers are stepping in. Before that, I still believe we will test two hundred days moving average soon. Uh, to the downside apple is in the downtrend it's below this 20 and 50 days moving average nothing changes on that um the thing is that it's like a snap it's showing us right let's go to the hourly level where is it rejecting it just did a catch up to 200 hours moving average guys it's not bullish it's got it may only become bullish if it gets above 179 dollars and 42 cents otherwise guys this thing is just gonna stay down and keep me going down so that's the thing on this one it's not bullish it may give us some more upside first of all it got to get above 200 hours moving average and also above level of 479 dollars and 33 cents because there's huge consolidation and a brick wall resistance right now that apple is running into so just keep that in mind okay let's now take a look at microsoft here we go all right microsoft rejecting the underneath of 20 days moving average still in the downtrend nothing changes on it still downtrending again like if it breaks above the level of 326 then maybe for short term we might see some upside coming again nvidia's earnings guys that's the that's the key that's the key for the market right now all right it is all coming down to nvidia google um google guys so this thing is such a choppy thing and that's what i have been talking about it this is guys um again like if i would be covering as for long-term investment sure my thesis may be different because then with long-term you know investment there's a lot of things like average cost down price to earning ratio price to sales ratio and fundamentals and all of that stuff right like we can then identify okay what is the price point below that average you can start dollar cost averaging into it the thing is that all right this is the trend line not going to happen to penny perfect and i could have moved it a little bit down as well to make it a little bit set properly um the thing is that as a trader you will not get much out of google this thing look at it how much has it given like 110 dollars move in like maybe like five months you have to either go with a lot of money into it or you may just make very little and this this thing is not going to give you that momentum move so you will get chopped out throughout the day um and yeah but just to give you the sentiment on it um macro is not letting it go up poor thing gapped up after earnings but macro says how can you go up when ma when market is not going up right so you know this thing if it pops out of 20 days moving average because i know there will be many stop losses just above it now uh by the shorts because it has been consolidating then it may get a squeeze out up to the upside 
um, to the downside until and unless at this moment, if it's not breaking 50 days moving average because of this gap, right? We can't really play the downside on it. Just, just my opinion. Amazon, it's the we're close to it's very similar type of story on Amazon. Guess it's doing a classic underneath test of 20 days moving average. Is thing either gonna stay choppy again? Nvidia and Nasdaq will define a lot, but this thing, guys, um, look at it. Okay from 23rd of june so more than two months already close to that and this thing has moved how much 127 to 110 dollars what money will you make in 10 dollars right even intraday you're gonna get chopped out you know um yeah i think maybe i should remove it from my list let me know if you want me to cover amazon or not because this is not the play worth covering every day or what i'll do i'll cover it on the weekly basis but maybe not on the daily basis yeah because this is not the intraday play guys um this is more like just catching on to the uptrend or downtrend sure on the trend line it is in the uptrend it is just on the horizon of the downtrend though watch out if 50 days moving average breaks then this thing has a lot more room to the downside meta Meta is in the downtrend, guys. Uh, it's testing underneath the 50 and 20 days moving average right around here. Uh, but again, th there is no sign that tells me that it's going to keep going up right now. If it gets above $299 or $300, then we are talking something else. But until then, it is still in the downtrend. Um, this is just a bounce in the downtrend that we are seeing with Meta. Nothing changes on it. All right, final stock for this video is Netflix netflix let's see what this thing is doing okay so it's testing this underneath resistance oh sorry overhead resistance of 412 dollars it just barely closed below that the play with this kind of what we have been calling out was 413 and then the next level 400 and or, or 398 guys you have to trade level by level on netflix it's not a stock like tesla that once picks the direction goes in that direction um, these stocks more tend to be like trading level to level going up and down choppiness but it is in the downtrend just remember that nothing changes around that theory so let's take a look at hourly interval to get better sense of it um, yeah so it is still in like below 200 hours moving average um, as I say, yeah, we have a resistance at 430. And if this keeps holding, it can, you know, again, come down to 398. If it, again, it's at a critical level where it, whichever side it goes, you can try playing that side. Um, upside is a little bit problematic because there's 200 overhead resistance level. Downside is more smoother. Uh, but again, like you got to pick the level direction based on what volume and, you know, uh, power it breaks that level with and then you trade that direction. But having your stop loss definitely on the other side. All right, guys, but it's in the downtrend. OK, this is all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care.